Hey, Grandpa Era. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Grandpa Earl, he lost his mind. Andrew checked up on him, thought he was fine. Picked up a knife and he tried to stab him. Everything he did, he just trying to stab him. He just trying to say, get out of my house. And that's what Grandpa Earl was talking about. He thought he owned that house. He told Andrew to get out. Hold up, wait, Andrew, he tried to call me. He saw my phone, but he never saw me. Andrew's like, oh, Papa Doc, answer. Yeah, looking like he needs some answers. He just wanna know what's going on. Now this is Grandpa Earl's intro, like, yo, here I go with the flow. Looking like Grandpa Earl, but he don't know. Grandpa, yeah, he walked for a mile. Andrew's like, I think Grandpa went senile. Oh yeah, and you know it's the truth. Come on, you know it's the truth. Grandpa Earl had that cane. Yeah, Andrew, don't know what's going on, man. Yeah, Grandpa finally came back. Andrew was kind of mad, and that's just a fact. Yeah, Andrew had to end the video. Yeah, it's time for Grandpa Earl to go. What's going on, you guys? Ryder here, back again with another video. And if you currently notice, I'm wearing a party hat. It's because today is Tyler's birthday, and just in a few seconds, uh, Grandpa Earl's actually coming over. Sorry. Happy birthday, Ow! Tyler. Fuck you! Right. No, this, no, this is where you hit me. <laughs> Put your hat on. Don't break it. You're Apparently, I gotta put my hat on too, which I do. But put he hat on. decided to almost barge in when I was trying to change my clothes. It's your fault. Uh, no, for a Happy silly party hat. To me. I got hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might be getting something else soon. I'm not saying. You can't just say that and not say. Makes you think, doesn't it? Put your hat on! <laughs> I mean, Ryan can wear the hat. No, I got a hat for Ryan. No, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just... Ryan's not coming over. He's actually over at a retreat in Wisconsin. It's going to be Grandpa Earl coming over. Yeah, I have to watch him. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want. I have to watch him. Guys, just in a few seconds, he's actually coming over. I don't know what's wrong with my camera, Blair. It's like so red. Right. Yeah. Maybe it's just because of the lighting. Oh no, now it's perfectly back to normal. Guys, give me a second. Maybe Grandpa Earl will show up. We'll, yeah. So it turns out Grandpa's actually outside. He's needing assistance. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but as soon as he steps foot in this house, he's probably going to have to wear one of these things. I don't know how useful it's going to be. No, but it actually turns out to be Ryan who's uh, saying goodbye. I thought he already left her on the retreat like three hours ago. I'm supposed to leave at 9 ish. 9? So, okay, where's Grandpa? He was asleep when, when I left. Okay. Um, I'm okay. He's yet your hand, ants, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I can't speak. Um, all right. Well, you know, have fun. Don't get into an accident. Uh, I'll, I might not do. I don't know. It's just you know, I've never been to Wisconsin before, so you know, it could be something crazy. It might be slow. So cold up there. Yeah, um, yeah. So as you know, it's actually Tyler's birthday. Is it real? Yeah. Happy birthday. He can't hear you. No. <laughs> All right. Well. Good luck. Be safe. Uh, don't be like that. <laughs> don't be like that. No. Guys, I will be back. Forgot when I'm back. You're supposed to know. You're supposed to know with your mom that you're supposed to be leaving four days. I, I shouldn't be telling you this. You know it. I always forget. Leaving the night. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. I'll be back on Monday. Be back on Monday? Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, I don't know what time I actually work. I think I work... Um, 10.30 to 4. So, yeah, you'll probably have to see me after work. I don't know what time you're actually going to be back home on Monday. Probably on night time. Ah, uh, alright. Um, well, I guess I'll see you later. I'm going to head out and have a cigarette. You have all your bags packed. Yeah. Okay. They're not on you. They're in my car. Oh, okay. I thought Grandpa was having your car. I was supposed to take it back with him. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm heading outside. All right. All right, guys. I'm leaving. Be safe. I will. Don't, uh, as I said, don't get into an accident. I don't know I'm pretty sure he's just going to join Tyler and Morgan watching Supernatural. He probably will. Yeah, pretty much. All, All right, right, guys. <clears throat> See you later. Back up. Okay, so he's leaving. As you know, he's heading to his car. I'm going to be watching Supernatural with Tyler and Morgan for the moment. I don't know when Grandpa Earl's supposed to show up. So, yeah. Give me one second. Sorry about that, guys. Um, oh, hey, look who it is. I'm guessing they woke you up. Yeah. Oh. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. Um... Seems like you're able to walk again. A little bit. So guys, this is Grandpa Earl. Hello, people. He said he wanted to help out with the videos, and that's basically what we're going to be doing. Grandpa, do you, have you cleaned your shirt lately? I forgot. You pretty much need to clean your shirt. Oh, she doesn't trust you. She doesn't know you. Well, come on, let's go. So guys, it looks like he's gonna be staying with me sometime. Um, turns out, he's here. Grandpa, come down, sit down over here. Watch some Supernatural with us. <laughs> Stop calling my grandpa terrifying, come on. What? Call me terrifying. Yeah, I, I mean, how old are you? 80. And it looks like your skin's falling off. I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> All right, can we just resume watching Supernatural? I'm about to get brownies. Really? Yes. You want it? Oh, yeah, I forgot your party hat. Somewhere. Grandpa needs a party hat. <laughs> There you go. See if you can try to put that on. Um, Grandpa, you uh, got to put that on your face. Tyler, can you hold this? Here, let me get 
Put that back. Maybe you should just not wear one. Okay, maybe you shouldn't wear one. So, Grandpa. What? How was your sleep? Good. Well, that's good. What? I think I slept for 14 hours. I only slept for like six hours, so yeah. You only took a nap. A 24 hour nap. Yeah. So Ryan told me if you tried covering up the lens, you'd hit the camera with your can. I've been practicing. No, 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 don't, don't, don't damage my equipment. Please don't. Okay, so. <laughs> We're going to get back to you guys as soon as possible. We're actually going to get some brownies in and watch the rest of Supernatural and hopefully Grandpa doesn't destroy my camera. I thought you were trying to help with the videos, not destroy my things. You're getting asleep. Okay, so you're supposed to be over here and not sleeping in uh, bed over at the guest house. Whatever. Guys, we'll be right back. All right, Grandpa, you want some brownie? I'm good. I'm just stuck in poops. Nobody wants to know what you did. Better edit that out. Probably. So, what do you want to do? I don't care. You want to go on Meagle? Let's do it. Alright. So guys, we're actually going on a Meagle right now. I have to set up the microphone that Ryan actually left behind. Having trouble walking? Yeah. And uh, we'll see what they say, honestly. Happy birthday again. Alright, come on. My hemorrhoids are hurting. Okay. Guys, we're going on Meagle. I had to set this microphone up. So that way we can actually do things from there. So, yeah. Hold on. So it turns out that apparently we can't get on Omegle because... Too much gigabytes. Literally, I have to like deep clean the whole disk system, so... Let me fix that problem. Don't use your cane. Let do not... me do it! Don't hit my computer. I'll fucking break you. you are not destroying my computer. I'm sorry. No. Anyway, guys, we're going to go outside and see what they're doing because apparently I'm waiting for everything to be copied so I can wipe my whole laptop. And they're gone. So what I'm going to do here is turn this on. There we go. There's some actually it's insufficient light in here. You gonna say anything? Like what? I don't know, like... That's a good question, I don't even know what to ask you. We tried doing Omegle, that failed. <laughs> that failed a lot. Who knows? Sucks. Yeah, Grandpa wanted to be on the Omegle really bad. Oh, you know what? Never mind. What's going on, guys? It's the next day. Um, <clears throat> my voice is kind of messed up. Cause you've been snoring too loud. Actually, Grandpa, you've been snoring too loud because I've been hearing it fall away from upstairs. I'm too loud. Yeah, well, you know, it'd be nice to get some peace and quiet while I sleep. I can't help it. Can't help it? No. Okay, well, here's the thing. Um, I need sleep for work, and even though we went kind of went grocery shopping today, guys, we didn't actually get foot footage of Grandpa Earl going shopping with Walmart today, because they weren't allowing us to carry the camera inside. Why not? Because they didn't want us foot like filming in Walmart. That's they, a bunch of bull. 
Yeah, I know. They they personally just told me about that. So, sure. so Grandpa Earl was actually staying the night over tonight. Um, he actually has to go back tomorrow night. So I have to put up with you for another night. Yes. Oh, well. I'm back to Texas tomorrow. So, <clears throat> who's dropping you off at the airport? That's a good question. I'll call an Uber. You're calling an Uber? Yes. I wonder how... I wonder if they're going to be able to put up with you, honestly. I, I don't think they can actually wait around for you, Grandpa Earl. Are we vlogging tonight? We're vlogging right now. We finish we finishing up tonight. Yeah, this will be posted tonight. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, guys, we just got back from grocery shopping. I've done a whole bunch. Uh, Tyler's gotten his stuff. I got my stuff. So, yeah. It's just basically me and him for 30 minutes. I got a quick question. What's the question? Have you heard from Ryan? No, he actually hasn't called me. He hasn't called me, too. I'm pretty sure he's doing okay, honestly. Maybe I'll call him later on today after work to see how he's doing. I mean, I did send him a message. He didn't really check back with us, so. He's busy with music and stuff. Probably, and he's probably, like, staying in a nice, fancy hotel, you know. Lucky ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys. Uh, you gotta go take a shit. We also tried Omegle last night. That did not actually work. That's it. Walk away. Want me to chase him? No, don't chase him, Grandpa. But yeah, Omegle did not work because I had to literally wipe out everything. Are you going to fall? I almost did. That's why I got this. I forgot to ask you, what happened to that pretzel stick? I threw it away. Why? Did it break in half? Yeah. But that thing was sturdy as... There's no way that could break in half. That thing was really furnished and expensive. Who was that? That was Tyler and Morgan. They leaving? Yeah, they're leaving. They're going to, I'm guessing, Morgan's house. He needs to be back by bedtime. Grandpa, he's an adult. He has bedtime whenever he can. My goodness, I'm not really good with this tripod. My goodness. <sighs> My face keeps going. You, you wouldn't understand. I, w I probably won't. I mean, you didn't even have cameras back then, so... It's not when I'm rolling cameras. Oh, yeah, you guys did have that old, junky old thing in the garage. Like your computer. It, well, my computer's not <laughs> junk. <laughs> That's a good joke. But, yeah, hopefully, sometime soon, maybe the computer will be like, hey, I work, you know? We also tried Ryan's mic. That obviously did not work, you know, because I, I don't know. People were trying, like, so, they were insulting you so bad. A little bit. Yeah, it's okay. It's a meagle. Kids wouldn't understand these days. I mean, for your age, we tried putting on a party hat on you. That skin wouldn't even hold the party hat. Kept slip hitting in the face. It hit my fucking mouth. <laughs> well... We don't have to wear party hats anymore, so that's good. It's over. So, Grandpa, don't you have to take your medicine? I think I took it this morning. No, you did not. You you cried about not taking your medicine because it was too large for you to... It, basically, he takes large pills, like that big. You know, like when I'm... Mucinex pills, those jumbo ones. Yeah. Don't you think you need to take them? Yes. Alright, um, where'd you place your bags? I forgot. Guys, be right back. We have to go find his bags. Okay, so guys, he's been grunting in the bathroom for like... 
Fifth, five, ten minutes. Grandpa, you okay? Huh? It won't come out. What won't come out? Nobody wants to hear that I thought you were in pain. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but you... It sounds like you're dying in there. The whole house smells like farts. It's Grandpa Earl. Pinch it off! Really? Did you take your laxatives today? He took his pills and now he's suffering in the bathroom. What kind of pills do you take? What are you doing? Grandpa? Are you okay? Okay. Uh, Tyler just moved your cane. Now I'm clogging that. It's your job. Uh, wash your hands. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh my goodness, it smells in there. Did you like... Did you eat dead rats? It smells like it. Okay, you need to hold on to the wall. Because the cane's right there. Don't. Grandpa? No? No? Make sh Are you okay? Are you okay? Okay. He sounds like he's dying. Well, maybe it's those pills. I don't know. Maybe you need to talk to your doctor. I will. When yeah. I get home. Yeah, which is like tomorrow, not tomorrow night, to the next morning. So, you want to try Omegle again tonight? Yeah. See if it actually works. Grandpa, maybe you need to sit down. Here, move, let me move the uh, headphones out of the way real quick. Got these headphones over here. Comfy? Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. I literally thought you were dying in there. I've never heard you take a crap just like that. It isn't? It is. It wasn't for a little bit. It still is. I don't know. Guys, again, I haven't used the tripod in a long time. I'm used to having my hand, but since my hand's been acting up, I have to be referred to using the tripod. Have you been in the car with me? Grandpa, we've been in the car. Mom took us to Walmart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, remember? And I couldn't footage the whole thing at Walmart? Yeah. There you go. So you took your medicine. Did you have anything to eat? Bread. What? I took bread. So you took bread with your pills? Yeah. I don't know how that works. Usually you're supposed to be, like, eating something healthy. I'm not a diabetic. Grandpa. Maybe I am. You are. Ryan's diabetic, too. Yeah, and I, he has to take what? Oh, I forgot. Anyway, that's, that's not the por important point. He takes those insulin. The insulin shots? Yeah. Stick them in your stomach. So you know, uh, James told me to take off, take down the video, the one that he impersonated Ryan for. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, uh, he felt bad about it, and so he wants me to take it down. But for the time being, I'm actually only taking it down. Millie, what do you want? I'm only taking it down so I can actually like privatize it, and then, 
you know, basically edit on the work, cut those scenes out. I know, but, you know, James said he can still, you know, Ryan can still basically uh, impersonate him. It's kind of like a roast session, ain't it? Uh, back in your day, what was like a roast session? We didn't have roast session. You basically just nitpicked everyone. We call it making fun of. Ah, okay, that's still a thing. Roast sessions nowadays, it's like, it involves celebrities or something like that, which, we're not even at all. We're just, you know, people who are doing this for fun. So. Okay. Yeah, that's Millie. I got two of those at home. Are you taking care of Grandma Linda's cats? Yes. I'm surprised they're still sticking around. How do you feed them? I cook them. You cook the cats. The Chinese. Now Millie's looking at you like, are you going to cook me next? I might. Oh, God. Okay. So, I was thinking of thing or ideas um, for what we're going to be doing for the next two days, yeah. which is a meagle, and we're going to try to prank Tyler and Morgan. What are you gonna do? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record. What you're gonna do, we'll find out later. Okay. Considering that they're here, but I figured you might want to like you know prank them for fun. I can do that. Okay. Oh, did uh, uh Ryan tell you about the uh, video? Which one? Um, how we uh, did a ghost box session. I saw that. How'd you feel about it? Kind of creepy. Were you happy to actually hear from, you know, Bob and Robert? I don't know them. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think you only met them at the wedding. Maybe. <sighs> anyway, yeah. We're probably not going to do that ever again. I mean, we got a hefty amount of views on it, but I don't think I really care about the views on that video at the moment. I just don't want to do it ever again. You care about that subscribers? Mm, maybe. I just want to do this for fun, because <laughs> it's like a second job to me. What? I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, you know, maybe tomorrow... When I get off work, I mean, we'll st we're still doing things today, Grandpa, but, you know, when I get off work later tomorrow, you know, we're basically going to be going around town. Me and you? Yeah. Just don't crash the vehicle. Don't crash Ryan's vehicle into a tree. He will kill me, right? I, I don't think Ryan would be able to kill you. But if you do it, I'm going to be like, nope, stop the car. You're not driving. Who will be driving? Not you. You? And certainly probably not me. We'll probably have to get a ride. What about James? James will be at work. He at work now? Yeah, he's been at work. Oh. He works from, like, the morning time till, like, midnight. Ryan told me he drives a black truck. He does, but he usually carpools with a friend. Oh. So, usually we'll see his truck outside. Did that back in the day. Carpooling? Yeah. Well, I hope it's a good carpool because I've researched back in the day. Man, oh man, that was messed up. Who's talking? Hmm. I think somebody's on their phone. Maybe it's a TV downstairs. Probably. They probably left the TV downstairs. If you do that a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. I don't know, guys. We just got home. I'm tired. I have to get ready for work. I don't know. What time is it, Grandpa? Phone's in your room. Right. 
I can just look it off the oven now. You you still have a phone? Ryan gave me his. What? Where go? Ryan gave you his. I look at mine. So if I call Ryan right now and he doesn't pick up, you have his phone. Go for it. I'll, I'll call him later. Right now, I'm actually just focused on what time Calm it is. Calm down, Grandpa. Not yet. Hold on. And so, yeah. Um, it's actually pretty warm outside. I can't, I can't believe it is. I, it's really nice. So, right now, I'm heading out there. And I don't know. This is, I, I honestly do not want to take a trip with Grandpa in the car right now because last time he almost threw us into a tree. <clears throat> but I can't drive. So if I can't drive, he has to. And it's barely, barely day. I don't know if, if uh, he can see in this stuff, but maybe if we just turn on the light, you know he'll be able to see much clearer but guys we can't take much road much footage of the road until we get to the certain spot and then we can just put it on night cam so <clears throat> as soon as i pick up the phone hello yeah yeah he's here he's been here What do you mean? Yeah, I've mentioned about his medication, like I had blood pressure. No, that wasn't his blood pressure. Huh, I see. Wait, that's medication for his memory? What do you mean? Okay, well, he told me he took it yesterday. I don't know. I haven't, t I haven't talked to him about him taking it today. So, Grandpa's pretty much senile. If he doesn't take his medication. Okay. Alright, well... Thank you for letting me know. Uh, um, yeah, we'll be safe. All right. Yeah, I, I'll mention that he'll take his medicine as usual. All right. All right. Bye. That's Sharon or Cheryl. I call her Sharon because it's easier to say, you know. Hey, Grandpa. Grandpa. Have you taken your medication today? You think you did or you have? I think. Okay, I just have to make sure. Where'd you put your medication? There in my bags. Where? Down the basement. Down the basement? Yeah. Okay, so when did you last take them? This morning. You took them this morning? Yeah. Okay, so you have to take them again in about another four hours. Okay. So hopefully when we get back. All right, because right, Cheryl just called and, you know, basically told me what happened. Who's Cheryl? Your sister? Oh, yeah. Anyway, she wanted to let you know that, you know, she loves you. Hope you be safe, you know. Hopefully we be safe. I haven't mentioned about us going on a car ride. But, guys, we're heading out to the car. We're going to go to the woods and try a ghost box session. Um... I feel like I'm forgetting something. I actually got my coat. Alright, Grandpa. You, got, you have your keys? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Man, I got hiccups. So, yeah, we're going to be heading out there. I'm too fast for Grandpa. Look at him. 
I'm not trying to leave you behind, Grandpa. Just set you up right here. What are you saying? There's a bar. Uh-huh. Did you take your medicine? Yeah. Alright guys, you can't see me, but we're gonna get in the car. Uh as soon as we get there, uh, we'll basically shine a light in the car and see how things go because it's actually too dark. I wish we could have gone earlier. That was your fault. Uh, yeah, that is my fault. Guys, we'll be right back. Grandpa, you were too close to the steering wheel. I can't see! I understand it's dark. I mean, you wanted to go late at night. I'm a night person. Well, okay, I understand that, but it's like, if you can't see, you know, that's, that's the problem. So now, guys, I know you can't see me, but, uh... I'm gonna hurry your ass up. I know, I'm hurrying up. Anyway, guys, I'm actually stopping by to get something to drink on the way there. Uh... And Grandpa's gonna wait in the car. Because he's not gonna be coming in with me. He's gonna keep the car actually come. Uh, he's gonna keep the car safe. We'll be back. Grandpa going. Uh, Grandpa? Is he leaving me out here again? Oh, no, he's not. Guys, one second. I gotta get something. Okay, so I'm actually having to call Grandpa and see why he left. Because, uh, he's leaving me out all here all alone. Not that I can't just walk back home, but, you know, him just... Uh, unexpectedly suddenly leaving he's not even answering hold maybe let me try it again These glares, though. Grandpa's still not picking up. One more time. Guys, I don't know where he went off to. He's not picking up his phone. I mean, literally. Hey! One second. Why did you leave? I want to meet my new girlfriend. Your new girlfriend? Yes. And you decide to leave your grandson all up here by Circle K? Did I? Yes! Uh, Grandpa, we just went here to go pick up a soda, and you just all of a sudden leave. I don't remember. Do you know? Do you know where Circle K is? Are you serious? Yes. Okay, so um. Oh man, I, I don't know how to explain the directions to you. Grandpa, can you at least try to come back? I can try to find something good. Yeah, please, because... Just, just come right back, okay? I can't... Hello? Okay. Hello? Hello? Huh. 
Guys, I'm gonna wait for Grandpa to come back because he just all of a sudden took off looking for his new girl. I don't know what kind of new girl he mentioned, but I don't know what's going on. Whatever. So I'm really not supposed to be here and I called him again and apparently this is like five, ten minutes later. He has still not shown up yet. I feel like he's actually gotten lost and I can't find him. Or he can't find this place. I'm really confused for words right now because I had barely minimal sleep last night due to his snoring, but you know. Is that him? I can't show you guys if it is him. But yeah. So far, I'm literally just trying to. I hate the brightness of this thing. I'm trying to see if he can actually find me because I'm not supposed to be out here recording. There's so many people around, it's like it's a little bit sketchy. So, I wonder where he's at. I tried calling him twice, no answer. And then when the third time he tried calling, uh, I called him, he's at a different gas station. <sighs> Grandpa, it's in the middle of town. It's easy to find. <sighs> so Grandpa finally shows up, and he's over there, finally. What in the world is wrong with his face? It looks totally different. Open the car, Grandpa. What's wrong with your face? You literally, you have like two strap, straps. Oh, hold on guys, let me show you. I can put this on. Just closed on itself. Well, thank you for whoever closed the door. Okay. Uh, Blair, Blair, there we go. What is that? Ooh. It's like somebody just basically scratched you on the face and you put two band-aids on there. Okay, are you okay? I don't know. Okay, okay. In fact, you know what? Skip it. We're not gonna go out to do ghost box tonight. We're going straight back home. Okay. So we're back at the house and Grandpa had to go inside. I figured I'd just talk to you guys and just, you know, maybe think, is Grandpa really getting senile? Has he been taking his medicine? Because that was a strange course of events. He never done that. He's never actually done that in front of me. You know, forgetting where he went and his girlfriend, really? Anyway, so yeah. Um, I figured I'd talk to him away from the, I'll talk to you guys away from him, so that way he doesn't know I'm talking about you guys, well, talking about him, but if Cheryl thinks this is actually true, um, maybe we need to start seeing if he actually did, maybe tell him, make him tell the truth to see if he actually did take his medication, because, yeah. yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of confused at the moment, so, just gonna grab this and you'll stay there and I'm going up to the house maybe he's getting something himself to drink because we just canceled the ghost thing so yeah let's see if test number one actually passed see if he actually took uh, my phone to the charger because my phone died and yeah grandpa Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are you? Whoa, Grandpa. Get out of my house. This is not your house. This is my house. You can't. Get out. I can't get out. This is Call my. The cop. This is my house. Man, get out. I. 
This is my house. I will stab you. Grandpa, do you know where you're at? This is my house in Texas. You're, you're in Illinois. This is not Texas. Yes, it is. Grandpa, have you been taking your medication? Yes, I don't know who you are. I'm your grandson. Get out of my house. Andrew, Ryan, does I that don't even... I you guys. I'm calling Cheryl back, okay? I'm gonna stab you. No, you better stay away. Where? Where'd my phone go? Grandpa? Get out of my house. This is not your house, and put down the knife. Okay, so he has a knife, and, uh,. Yeah, that just happened. Come on, get out of my house. Grandpa, I'm going to open the door, and I will surely exit the house, okay? If you let me out. Is that good? I'll let you out of my house. Okay, just don't stab me. Okay, okay. You, you have a knife. I'm slowly leaving the house, okay? Please don't stab me. This thing has a lock on it. Okay, so Grandpa's lost his mind. That looks like Ryan's cell. Looks like Gran Ryan's... Cell phone. Sonny boy. Get lost, Grandpa. I told you to get out of my house. This isn't your house. Yes, it, is. it is not. You, pay bills around here. you, you do not pay bills around here. In fact, it's a good thing I got this door locked. You lock it. No, I'm not. I'm not leaving this room. I'm not getting stabbed today. Come on, turn on, turn on, turn on. I picked the lock. There's no way of picking this lock. It's old, old. It's an old lock. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know who you are. That can't be Ryan's phone. That can't be Ryan's phone. That cannot be Ryan's phone. Call the cops! I will! Come on, Ryan, pick up, pick up, pick up. Um. That's Ryan's cell phone. You took his phone? I thought you said he had his phone! Grandpa? Grandpa! Oh crap. No, 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 no. Guys, I am locked in the bathroom. I don't know who to call. Uh, apparently Grandpa has Ryan's phone. Or Ryan left his phone here. That's probably why you couldn't get a hold of me. Grandpa, you are not coming in. Then go to the police station. Sure go. I am not getting stabbed today. Go to the police station. You are not going to the police station. Yes, I am. No. What happened to that big scary knife? I can't walk in there with it. Well, yeah. Grandpa, go take your medicine. Grandpa? Grandpa? I'm leaving! Take your medicine! No. Yes! I gotta hide the knives. He's got the... 
This? How did he find it? Maybe he isn't senile. Maybe he's possessed by a ghost. I don't know. Maybe that's why my door closed earlier. It's not that windy on, you know, when I was getting on my s side. Millie. Oh, great. I probably have to call the police because now he's roaming around as usual. Maybe I'll just tell the police he's gone crazy. He needs to take his medicine. Maybe it'll force him to take his medicine. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Well, maybe he'll he'll be back. Maybe he'll take his medicine. I don't know. I gotta call the cops. Well, I don't know where he went to. I'm searching all over the yard, and I still can't find him. <clears throat> so. It looks like I'm going to have to make a police report, at least, uh, of somewhat, because Grandpa has gone missing and he didn't even take his car. I don't know if you guys can still see the license plate over at that thing. Not the first one, that's the bigger one, but the... Yeah. Yeah, I'd just like to make a per missing persons report. He, I don't know what time it was that he left and went missing. Um, I tried finding him all over the yard. I tried looking through the house. He's not there. I even went in the garage. He's not there. Uh, his car's still here, but he's not even around. So, and plus the guy has pretty much lost his mind. So, I mean, he tried getting a knife on me. No, no, I don't want to, I don't want to charge him. Uh, uh, no charges at all, please. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye bye. So as you guys know, I actually have to put this in. Uh, what what is what do you guys call it? Uh, basically, it's still nighttime, and I have yet to go find him. But since they have already put out a full report, they're going to try to find Grandpa. And basically, has the door been broke? Huh, it's funny. The door. It looks like it's literally been broke. That's funny, because I've never been here. Well, I've actually been here, but I've never seen that actually happen. I think what he did was he took this brick and got really angry. Grandpa still got some strength in him, but we got to go find him. Um... Police is pretty much going around trying to find Grandpa Earl. And, yeah, it's getting a little bit cold. Uh, the wind has stopped. But I guess I better see, you know, I better go around and look. And Sharon has to tell me he has to take... Has to take uh, senile medication, but apparently he hasn't taken it. So, I hope he hasn't gone too far. No, that's not the that's not the squad car. Okay. <laughs> it has gotten a little colder, but not too bad. I just I wonder why he would actually lie to me not taking his medicine. And then all of a sudden, him holding a knife to me, as I said, he pro he's probably seen now. There's no trace of him. That's where he's really quick on foot. Usually the cane slows him down. So no sight of him yet. I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of going around the square a little bit, seeing where he possibly may have ended up at. I really don't like enjoying this night mode thing. I know it's a little bit too much, but it's something worth trying. And honestly, if he's out there, senile, he's probably lost. Because he thinks he's in Texas, and he's not. In fact, this is pretty much a dark, and it's a dark part of the neighborhood, so...
I am literally walking all over this place. <coughs> well, he didn't drop his cane, so that's good. He's still around somewhere. So far we're making it up to the street light. Still no sight of him. Came and hear him. Cause you would uh, be pretty obvious to hear Grandpa Earl somewhere. The moon's somewhat showing. It's like a croissant. So far, no sign of him. He couldn't have made it off too far. What am I doing? So, how are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just walking around the neighborhood with a camera in my hand because I don't know, I feel like I need it. It's like the most darkest place to walk. Seven minutes in and nothing. Camera battery's still good. I feel like I'm gonna have to call Aunt Sharon, see if he's not even around here. Tell her what happened, really. Okay. Okay, so I'm back. And no sign of Grandpa Earl or nothing. Uh, that's actually pretty much a dark place. I feel like I need to turn on a second light. Hold on, guys. I think that works. Okay. Okay, so maybe I need to call Aunt Sharon back because I feel like I need to tell her this. Um, yeah. Hey, Hello? uh, Aunt Sharon. Hey, hey so, so you remember when you told me that, uh, Grandpa needed to take, uh, what was that, senile medication, whatever it was? Yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, he is now missing. Uh, I tried finding him all over the place. I even filed for, uh, the police report. And he is nowhere to be found. Um, he also came after me with a knife and thought he was in his home in Texas. Wait, so he, he took the senile medicine or he didn't? He hasn't. He keeps telling me that, you know, he's been taking it and it's next to his bed in a bag, but he he's been lying he's been saying no like he doesn't want to take it he knows what it is but he's not all the way there so you haven't seen him take it all day or has this been going on for a while well you know i told you he's been taking it uh from what i've known you know i've left him alone so he took his medication and i thought he did and now he's He's walking around the city limits of uh, the streets, and you know it's a little bit too dark around here. So I don't know. I tried circling around the block. I can't find him. Uh, the police sent out an ADP or an AVP or whatever that's called. That you know they have squad cars looking for Grandpa Earl. And they've they found nothing. Or... They're still searching. Um, I haven't gotten a call back, but he left his vehicle here, too. So he's just walking alone, without no supervision, being senile? Yeah. Like, he just literally said, uh, he's going to the police, which I called the police. <laughs> like, how, how... <laughs> Has he ever acted this way? Have you known, like, I, I know he's like, t he's, you said he needs to take his medicine, but has he had this kind of rerun before? Not that I've seen. This is, this is actually the first time I've heard from this. <clears throat> I mean, I knew, I knew something wasn't right, but, I mean, God, wait. For him to act like that, that's just... Oh, 
yeah, like, I'm getting kind of worried because of, like, how does he, he, first it's the knife, now I go outside. I also forgot to mention, he broke the screen door to the garage. With his bare hand or with the knife? I found a brick on the floor. I guess. I mean, there was a brick right next to the place, and the pallet was, like, taking out, and it's broken. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that's an easy 50 to $75 to fix. It's no problem. But the, the problem is he's still missing, and he has to go back home tomorrow. Well, how long has he been missing, exactly? <coughs> um... He's been missing for like 20, 25 minutes. And then I decided to, no, he's been, like the first time he's been missing for like 10, 15 minutes. Then I decided to make a police report because I tried checking all the rooms in the house, the garage, uh, and noticed the screen door was broken. And I tried checking around the yard. He's not there. Like he literally took off. Um, and then I guess it took me about another five, 10 minutes to see where he went uh, and I went around like the whole neighborhood could not find him and he didn't tell you where he was going? he told me he was going to the police station and he doesn't know where the police I figured for his age he's slow he won't even make it that far I'd probably go get him I mean he dropped the knife I put the knife away it's he's not gonna like hit me with anything so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know that that's, uh, he's missing, <laughs> which is weird. Um, you know, he's missing for an old man who walks slow. So yeah, uh, I'll just let you know when I get back on the phone with you, see if we can, if the police find him or I find him, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Now, now you're telling me he didn't take it and he went missing. That's just... It's crazy. Something... It's, it's... <laughs> he just... He doesn't listen to me. Uh, but, alright, I'm gonna let you go. Um, I'm gonna try to call his cell phone. I haven't really done that. But, you know... Uh, my brother's gone, Tyler's gone, um, it's just, it was gonna be just me and Grandpa at the house, and we were gonna watch some stuff, and, I'll just explain it to you later, I gotta go. Alright, well, if you find out anything, let me know. Alright, will do. Alright, bye. bye. So, yeah. While I'm waiting for a police report, while I'm trying to get back with uh, Aunt Sharon on this, see if we can just call Grandpa. Yeah, right there, focus in on that. All right. Where is that coming from? I'm hearing buzzing, but I'm not hearing anything. So, um, it's been nearly two hours. <clears throat> no police sighting, no nothing. Um, well, the police did stop by, and I gave him a full report, what he looked like, uh, his full name. 
Uh, he's originally from Texas, but, you know, they'll try to help as much as possible. And I hear a cane. Grandpa? Grandpa, is that you? Grandpa, I went searching for you everywhere. You made me worried sick. What are you doing? Oh, really? Because I had to file a report because of you. Luckily, I didn't mention anything about charges. They went to go put an 80... An 80 I couldn't even say the words. They put a whole squad out looking for you as a missing person. I'm not joking, you were gone for three hours. And during those two hours, <clears throat> I had to wait for the police to show up to the house. Sharon's. Sharon's. Yeah. Did you manage to... F I thought you went to go to the police station. I went there after that. <sighs> Did you break that door? I don't know. You don't know. Because when I when we came home, I didn't even see that broken. <coughs> I walked in and, you know, tried... I can't remember what I did last... It's been five hours, okay? You made me worried sick. Aunt Sharon, I had to call because she was right about the medication that you were supposed to take. No words, huh? Now I have to call back the police. I have to call back Aunt Sharon because now you're found and you said you didn't do that. I don't remember. Ah, uh, okay. Guys, we found Grandpa. Um, we're gonna make sure he takes his medication. Come on, Grandpa, let's go. You will. I don't know why you didn't even take your medication. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. Well, whatever. <sighs> it is getting really cold out here. I don't even know how you're able to survive these temperatures. <clears throat> well, apparently you're pretty good because I was walking around the neighborhood trying to find you for somebody as slow as you are. Anyway, we're going to make you take your medicine and we're going to order pizza. Does that sound good? Yeah. <sighs> Bet you're exhausted already. Grandpa, how old are you? We're gonna go the next day. I mean, I'm tired. We're gonna order pizza. I'm gonna make sure he takes his medication. You are gonna take your medication from now on. Yes. Anyway, let's go to the next day. What's going on, you guys? It's the next day. Um, kind of a little bit tired, but uh, Grandpa's got everything, you know stuffed into suitcases and ready to go uh I'm ready to get the fuck out of here uh did you take your medicine this morning uh, i think i did did you yes i swear to god if sharon calls me and says you did not take your medicine <laughs> okay so <clears throat> we're Saying goodbye to him because he has to catch a plane, not a plane, a train. <laughs> I always get those things too confused. <sighs> Take your medicine. <sighs> like, when you get to the car, I know the bag's in the car with your stuff. Yeah. Anyway, guys, 
I just woke up. After he goes home, I'm going straight to the gym. And, uh, yeah, I'll have uh, Andrea text me, you know. I know Ryan's coming home today, so... Also, my brother's up in the next room, so, yeah, that's pretty much going to be fun. Hey, James. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing, man. How you doing? Oh, pretty good. Come on. He's putting on his jacket. What you got in there? What do you mean what I got in there? Mm -hmm. He's putting on his jacket. Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa. Yeah, you didn't even get to meet him. You just... You were gone during Tyler's birthday. No. He also kind of went missing. Where the fuck you been? Yeah, explain to me how you were missing for like... Damn it, Gramps. He... Almost stabbed me with a knife. Oh no, it's a little quiet. You got people sleeping down there. Oh yeah, that's right. He stabbed me with a knife. He took out the garage door. Fuck, man. I don't know if he's gonna get another one of those. I know. Um, There's a black market, you know. <laughs> you gonna harvest Grandpa's uh, organs? And basically, I had to call and tell the police that. He came back. <clears throat> Go you, you fucking... He's right there. He's, he's a fucking snitch. He finally showed up last night. Oh, I thought you called the police to come, like, apprehend him or some shit. Well, they kind of sent out an APB unit sort it's of thing. APB unit. Uh, something, I don't know. <laughs> a peanut butter sandwich? Basically, they sent, like, maybe <laughs> three or four squad unit cards looking... Cars? Cards? Cars? I sent out my three of my blue eyes white dragons to get Grandpa. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about, Yugi. <clears throat> anyway, Grandpa's finally going back to Texas. So, say hi and bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> okay, well. Hello. Grandpa! What? Oh, really? No wonder it's marked in the family. Um, your language. That's what. It's kind of... It, I don't want to go into, like, doing the whole... Um, night vision mode, but... The car's out there waiting for you. I guess Ryan will just go ahead and take it back to you. As soon as possible. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll see you next year. <laughs> I don't know. It's got a damn mouth. You know we all have. Anyway, it was nice seeing you. Hopefully, get the hell of you good. Well, hopefully, you'll take your medicine. I take my medicine at all. When you get in that car, you're going to go take your medicine. Yeah. Please take your medicine. I don't want to hear from Aunt Sharon again. Good shit. All right, go ahead, go. You're, you don't want to miss your train. finally gone so yeah guys I am going to go ahead and go to the gym this is the last I'm gonna see of him and yeah uh, maybe Ryan will come back later on tonight around 8 or 9 o'clock as again Still dealing dealing with uh, Windows problems. Yeah, Windows. Never got to fix it. 
hopefully tax money comes around actually helps me oh boy yeah I gotta explain it to Ryan too so <clears throat> anyway I guess that's it I'll see you guys in the next vlog thank you all so much for watching I really appreciate this I'm sorry that Ryan can't stay around to do this this needs to be thrown out tonight and uh, I need to move on with the rest of my schedule uh, for people who have actually been hanging on and watching the rest of the series, which I know Ryan from home is watching, because I've been, it's been taking hours upon hours just to try to edit this, render it, and throw it up on YouTube, but to the people who continued watching, thank you so much. Uh, Grandpa Earl is basically a, you know, play on play, basically, it's not professional or anything, it was just like, you know, there would be a few lines, yeah, I messed up, just continue going on with it. And if you guys couldn't tell, the mask that he was wearing in the outfit, that was completely Ryan. If you haven't figured that out, I don't know why you would not figure that out. I mean, you could tell by the mask, it kind of just like, you know, uh, if you go like back on the video, like during the night mode, when I finally found him, Ryan, Grandpa Earl, Papa Doc, uh, his mask was kind of like you know, kind of open, and I was like, you know, forget it, we'll roll with it, I don't care, <laughs> this uh, series is, you know, it's like amateur level, you know, so if I really, really, really want to put throw out professionally, it would take about three months to get a whole series down, instead of just a few days, but with those few days, uh, it did feel like three months, because as I, as you guys follow through the vlog, I had computer problems with Windows, and I couldn't do anything, and so, yeah. Uh, by the way, no, police weren't involved. That was just something that uh, me and Ryan found on the app the other day. We can pull it up, you know, mask it to look actually like the police. And, yeah, my acting was a bit poorly, uh, you know, done, but... It was, uh, as I said, it was something to go along with. 50 subscribers, you know, I feel like, hey, here's a series. But if we really wanted to act serious, like we get, wanted to get professionally, that is a long trip down the road. I mean, we have to get serious about this, and by the time that happens, uh, that'll probably be in like the 500,000 range to the, the million range, you know? So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was not very, uh, I couldn't hold the camera that much, and really there's no reason to apologize. I mean, I've gotten better over time just using it, and as you can tell, I got a haircut, <clears throat> if you haven't noticed. Also, James wanted to, like, you know, talk in the video and be like, you know, everybody's going to realize that's Ryan, and I'm like, I've been lied to this entire time. <sighs> everybody knows by just watching the video i mean they've seen grandpa earl on uh facebook constantly doing videos and this was like way before then like we had facebook uh live chat so yeah and if i have to look through it and find it i will upload it to the channel you know if i have to that's if you guys want to like drop uh drop 10, 15 likes, 15 likes, and I will dig through Facebook, get with Ryan, and I will upload the secret clips of what everybody was missing, missing for uh, the early Grandpa Earl uh, bits and tidbits from Facebook Live. I will do that. I will take time out of my day, uh, even throw in like another video just to do that for the next one. So, yeah. Uh, I was not impressed with the series. Honestly, I think we could do more, but... With what we have right now, I think it's well worth the 50 subscribers. So, guys, if you drop down just for the Grandpa Earl series, if this video gets... Uh, if the four videos in total get 200 views by Friday, we will do Grandpa Earl Goes to Vegas with 500 subscribers. So, yeah. Hit the... That's if we reach 200 views on the total four view or four videos. So yeah, 
it is late. I need to go to the gym. Ryan, I'm sorry if you're seeing this. Uh, you know, you can do your little tidbit with the next video explaining, you know, how you got into costume, how you were able to do this. But I think it's a little surprised that Ryan, a.k.a. Papa Doc, a.k.a. Grandpa Earl, if we reach 500 subscribers, he's going to Vegas. So, yeah, guys. With that time being said, thank you all so much for watching for the fourth, fifth, sixth time. I will see you guys later on. Peace.